Well, you've now arrived at Bealtaine Cottage in the west of Ireland. And come on in. You're very welcome to be out in the cottage here in the west of Ireland. Join me for a full day. Let me show you around. And uh, the weather is typical Easter weather. Sunshine, showers, cloud, blue sky, the whole shebang. Well, busy in the garden this morning. Still in my dressing gown. And I've been up some of my garden figures, two in particular that have weathered quite badly and um, I found this old gold spray so I'm spraying them both. One is a um, figure of the goddess and the other one of course is Buddha. Buddha was hidden away in the undergrowth looking a bit uh, raggedy so I just thought okay time to do a little bit of work here well as you can see the morning starts really early now this is at about um, seven o'clock seven a.m in the morning and the sun is shining and it's just beautiful and the promise of such a lovely day ahead oh I do love this life <laughs> Listen to the birds singing. Well, this is the upper gardens. The, um, the orchards are, loca are located here. So I have lots of apple trees, pear, plum, and uh, there's actually a nectarine tree in the polytunnel. So it's a very productive garden and you can see some of the early apple blossom beginning just to peep out. Hopefully these will be fine, there won't be any hard frost to kill them off. And you see my compost bins and my little vegetable garden. Now mostly I'm producing fruit and herbs. Herbs seem to grow so naturally here in the west of Ireland. It's a very easy job to do, to grow herbs. And here is my rustic arch, which I've just finished planting out with honeysuckle and roses. So over recent weeks, I've been creating a container garden here at the back of the cottage. Um, it's mostly gravel, so it's very easy to put the containers on the top. And um, I'm adding well, hopefully this weekend I'm going to be adding a little miniature apple tree because I have a big half barrel here that needs to contain something. So that's the pagoda. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you up to the stone circle, which is just up here in this corner. Now the stone circle has been created from 13 huge stones, which were lying fairly close together. And of course, this is very ancient land as is all of Ireland. We have settlements and people going back thousands of years. So now we're just crossing the ditch. This carries away a lot of excess water which comes down off the hill. And 
walk along up here to where the stone circle is. You see some of the beautiful primroses there. Now the stone circle has 13 stones in it and that's because there are 13 moons in the year. This is quite a secret little spot because it's actually cut off from the rest of the land by this ditch and you wouldn't assume it was here. You'd have to know that it was in order to find it. Although it is on the map. I had a map made by the artist David Gascoigne many years ago. And um, that shows the stone circle. Now there's an oak tree in the middle. And this is the bank and very dense, wild woodland. Let me just show you close up. The gardens of Beelton Cottage cover three acres. Now about two and a half acres is laid to woodland and it's all deciduous trees. And mostly I burn wood. Now this is some donations I've had recently, but a lot of the wood actually comes out of my own woodland. So between pollarding and coppicing, it's very productive. There are some areas of the woodland that I very rarely touch and this is the fairy wood just below the cottage. Now this is a beautiful quince. It's a white quince. I also have a pink one down in the bog garden near the pond. And this is on the north facing wall. It does very well. This is walking up now from some of the woodland up past the fairy wood which is down on the, on the left and up the little steps towards the cottage. Well, I'm exhausted. I've just sat down with some lovely homemade, not made by me, but a good friend of mine called Paula, makes the most beautiful vegan Irish brown soda bread. So I'm sat down with my soda bread and peanut butter 
and there's a cup of tea there with my name on it, just steaming away. I'm exhausted. I've been working in the garden um, ooh, for much of the day. It's been enjoyable, but exhausting. So, oh, cheers. This is the pond in the lower woodland and all this water flows from the spring well in the fairy wood which is just below the cottage. So it's all spring water. Very clear, very clean, very beautiful. All of this will end up in the wild Atlantic Ocean. This is some um, the woodland as <laughs> myself and myself and Patsy were walking up and the rain started. Now it can be very changeable weather at this time of the year, but the rain never seems to last for too long. It sort of comes in little bursts and spurts. But of course when it starts to rain, Patsy gets a bit of a run on her. <laughs> She likes to she likes to stay dry and because I go in and out of the cottage so often um, I rarely put a little coat on her because I'm quite spontaneous like that. I'll take her in and out for little walks and we just enjoy the day together. And Buddha, beautifully golden, sitting in his place of honour. And now the sun is shining in from the west and there's this beautiful glow on everything. And you can see the rain clouds coming back in, but look at the beautiful colours. It just makes all the trees and shrubs pop out. And especially in the distance as well. I'm just looking closely now at this willow. It's just so delicate and beautiful. And the bees, of course, all the wild bees, the honeybees, they're all so active at this time of the year.
has been lovely showing you around and I hope you join me again and if you like this video it would be great if you press the like button and subscribe that would be wonderful you're very welcome links to all my books that I write you can find below this video and every other one blessings to you all my friends and have a lovely weekend